Beacon of industry in Plattsburgh, Georgia Pacific's Boathouse building clings to life. However, new plans to demolish the building will soon mean the end of the facility. Most people don't know what they built there, and that's what my mission has been. Uh, ever since I got into the museum business. Local historian Richard Soper says the building's history goes back to 1900 when the structure was built and when Henry Lozier used it for high-end boat production. You never think that a town of 12,500 people in 1902 would be a place to manufacture cars, but it was the boats that brought everyone here. After constructing boats for a few years, Soper says the company then set its sights on the future of transportation. His son, uh, Harry, took over the business and uh, he realized that the cars were the future. Soper says it was then one of America's most expensive cars went into production in Plattsburgh. A very expensive Mercedes was $2,000. The Lorgers were five to $6,000. Very high quality. The company continued to crank out cars until the late 1910s when Lozier filed for bankruptcy. Soper says the boathouse's ownership changed hands throughout the years before ending up with Georgia Pacific, a company that says it plans to demolish the structure in the next few years. I was a little upset to see history go by. We've had many, many buildings in Plattsburgh that were torn down. However, he says he believes it's the right call. Right now, it's more important probably to keep employment here uh, of the people that are working there than to keep a derelict old building, it would cost almost a million dollars to stabilize the building, and there's hardly anybody could justify that. Despite the eventual demolition, Soper says the Lozier's legacy will be forever ingrained into the Lake City. The commitment by Mr. Lozier was to produce the best car in the world. This is to say the son, Harry Lozier, was to produce the best there was, and they succeeded in doing that. And it was in our little town here. In Plattsburgh, Alec Lasham, Channel 3 News.